welcome to Virtual Worship Services with Sherry Hills Ministries. If you've been joining us, you know we start with worship. This is our time to just put our minds on the Lord, think about the goodness uh, that He brings to our lives and the wonderful things that He does for us. Too numerous to even count. Would you worship with me today? It doesn't matter how you worship. Eyes open, close, hum, sway, get up, walk around. God just wants us to worship in spirit and in truth. Let's worship God today. Father, we thank you for your presence in our lives. Father, we love, honor, and adore you. Lord, we place no one before you. God, we thank you for your presence. Lord, we feel your presence today. We feel your presence, we feel. We feel your presence, we feel. We feel your loving presence. Glory to God, holy. Glory to God, holy. Glory be to God, holy. Oh, glory be to God, holy. Glory be to God, holy. Lord, thank you. Thank you for your presence. Glory be to God, holy. Glory be to God, holy. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Have your way in this virtual worship service. Lord, we got hallelujah. All of you and none of you. Lord, I yield to you. Just the vessel, just the vessel, just the vessel. You have to say is important. Glory to God, honey. Thank you for your presence, Lord. God, I ask that you would touch, that you would heal, that you would deliver, that you would set free, God. Mm, glory, glory, glory. I ask that you even with the miracle. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Have your way. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. Glory, 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 glory. Glory, 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 glory. Glory, glory be to God, hallelujah. God is wonderful indeed. God is wonderful indeed, and if you are a Christian, if you are a Christian, nobody should have to tell you that God is wonderful because you know. Nobody should have to try to coerce you into worship and praise because you know He's worthy. Glory be to God, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. I'm going to start with Psalm 69. Save me, O God, for the waters are come in unto my soul. I sink in deep mire where there is no standing. I am coming to deep waters where the floods overflow me. I'm weary of my crying, my throat is dry, my eyes fail while I wait for my God. They that hate me without a cause are more than the hairs of mine head. They that would destroy me, being mine enemies wrongfully, are mighty. 
Then I restored that which I took not away. O God, thou knowest my foolishness, and my sins are not hid from thee. Let not them that wait on thee, O Lord God of hosts, be ashamed for my sake. Let not those that seek thee be confounded for my sake, O God of Israel, because for thy sake I have borne reproach, shame hath covered my face. I am become a stranger unto my brethren, and an alien unto my mother's children. For the zeal of thine house hath eaten me up, and the reproaches of them that reproach thee are fallen upon me. When I wept, I chastened my soul with fasting. That was to my reproach. I made sackcloth, also my garment, and I became a proverb to them. They that sit in the gate speak against me, and I was the song of the drunkards. But as for me, my prayer is unto thee, O Lord, in an acceptable time. O God, in the multitude of thy mercy, hear me in the truth of thy salvation. Deliver me out of the mire, and let me not sink. Let me be delivered for them that hate me, and out of the deep waters. Let not the water flood overflow me, neither let the deep shout swallow me up. And let not the pit shut up her mouth upon me. Hear me, O Lord, for thy loving kindness is good. Turn unto me according to the multitude of thy tender mercies, and hide not thy face from thy servant, for I am in trouble. Hear me speedily. Draw nigh unto my soul and redeem it. Deliver me because of mine enemies. Thou hast known my reproach and my shame and my dishonor, mine adver adversities. Mine adversaries are all before thee. Reproach hath broken my heart, and I am full of heaviness. And I looked for some to take pity, but there was none. And for comforters, but I found none. They gave me also gall for my meat. And in my thirst they gave me vinegar to drink. Let their table become a snare before them. And that which should have been for their welfare, let it become a trap. Let their eyes be darkened, that they see not, and make their loins continually to shake. Pour out thine indignation upon them, and let thy wrathful anger take hold of them. Let their habitation be desolate, and let none dwell in their tents. For they persecute him whom thou hast smitten, and they talk to the grief of those whom thou hast wounded. Add iniquity unto their iniquity. And let them not come into thy righteousness. Let them be blotted out of the book of the living. And not be written with the righteous. For I am poor and sorrowful. Let thy salvation, O God, set me up on high. I will praise the name of God with song. And will magnify him with thanksgiving. This also shall please the Lord better than an ox or bullock. That hath horns and hoofs. The humble shall see this and be glad. And your heart shall live that seek God. For the Lord heareth the poor, and despiseth not his prisoners. Let the heaven and earth praise him, the seas, and everything that moveth therein. For God will save Zion, and will build the cities of Judah, that they may dwell there, and have it in possession. The seed also the servants shall inherit it, and they that love his name shall dwell therein. May God add a, ble a blessing to the reading of his holy word thank you so much for joining me today and, and uh, as I said last week I was uh, I was um, in at the time when I did the virtual worship I was not well I wasn't feeling well I was uh, experiencing uh, an allergic reaction and um, in fact I'm still not completely 100% yet um, but much better than last week so again um, I you know I apologize uh, if I'm dragging a bit but that's why so um, so today again is going to be brief but I just want to come to you again and um, and just uh, talk about the Lord and whether you see this video today tomorrow some time down the road I pray that it will truly bless 
your heart and your soul. Um, uh, I'm truly uh, someone that, you know, is just led of the Lord. Um, uh, for myself, I, you know, there's, I'm not a big talker. I'm not someone that wants to be in the forefront. Um, and so my only goal is just to to please God because he called me to minister he called me to the ministry and so I am a Christian this is my my um, my faith and I'm just doing um, as the Lord has given me to do he gives all of us assignments and so he's called me to be a minister and so I'm simply just doing um, what the Lord has instructed me and given me given me to do and so and that's it not for any personal glory or anything like that uh, I'm not a person that wants to be in the forefront never have been um, but he blesses he blesses those that go ahead and you know when he gives you an assignment he wants you to do what he's given you to do and um and so you know I'm rambling a bit again as I said I'm not 100% still a bit recovering um, but what I want to talk about today is joy because the joy that the Lord gives is is different than um, you know you may hear people talk about joy and happiness and different things like that and they combine them almost as if they're synonymous they have similarities um, but they're not synonymous uh, because joy is something that is much deeper. Joy is, this is my description, I'm not talking from the uh, dictionary. Joy is something that um, embeds itself. It, it's a, 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 and I'm just talking right now. It, it embeds itself in the heart. And it becomes like a almost like a character trait almost I think you know would be a good way to des describe it it's, it becomes a part of your character and so it, it could be a part of your you know your character your disposition your outlook um, and um, it becomes a way of life too um, you know happiness a lot of times happiness is because of something like a birthday party or something and people are happy because of the festivities and the things that are going on the festivities so things are happening that's causing people to feel happy but joy joy is a bit different because it really doesn't matter um, what may or may not be going on at the moment the joy is just embedded it's like just sitting there in your heart and you just are joyful you just have it you don't need the festivities you don't need anything you know any outside things to, to happen to cause you to feel joy and it's really a blessing um, joy now I don't know if, if there are other sources of joy but the only re real source I know I know is God because it is something that he actually gives you something he'll give it to you he'll give you joy he'll give you joy um, it's something that comes from the indwelling of the Holy Spirit and I really you know I can't think of anything else I mean I'm really trying to think is there some other source of joy outside of God I really don't think so I think joy real joy only comes from God it comes from the Holy Spirit indwelling you because again it's, it has nothing to do with things happening or oh, this happened or oh, that happened and it made me so happy I was happy because this thing happened or that thing but joy it's from inside it's so so happiness has to do with the outside happenings happening to you but joy it's just inside of you it's, it's something that's just in there 
and it comes out it comes out it's like a ray of sunshine just joy um and so honestly I can't think of anywhere else it comes from but as you get to know the Lord and you start really really living for God and um, just having a genuine relationship and it has nothing to do with church attendance either it has nothing to do with church attendance it has nothing to do with um, churchy churchiness and churchy deeds and all of those things it has nothing to do with it it only has to do with a relationship having a real relationship with God you have a real relationship with God he will give you this real wonderful thing I mean it is so valuable I can't even I can't even state how valuable think about yourself for a minute think about think about um emotions think about you know just maybe a time in your life when you felt real bad just and I'm not trying to take you there so please don't I don't want to take you to a negative place um so take your mate okay J I, okay so just contrast it then because I don't want to I don't want to say something that would take you to a place of negativity but The negativity that comes from negativeness, negativeness, is really horrible. I mean, it's just horrible. And anything can cause it, you know, situations in your life, uh, setbacks, um, bad news, um, something happening that didn't go the way you thought it would, um, disappointment. And, it's, and it hurts like it's an emotion but it also hurts you know what I mean it just kind of like uh, kind of makes you feel so bad so joy is the opposite of all of that all of that uh, you know the grief the grief that's grief and the negativity and so the joy it's just a delightfulness it's just a a, a delightful it's like Hmm. I'm trying to really think of a way to express it. It's just like the fluff, the but it's substance substance to it. It's like that fluffy, airy, like wow, you know, like a nice breeze, and it's like this was wonderful. Or I just the, just it has so much wonderfulness in it. Um, but that's, I mean, I'm trying to describe it. That's kind of how it is, though. It's like, like the fluffiness, the the the, the nice breeze, the like, wow, this just this is great. That's what joy is, and it's something that it comes as a result of just having a relationship with God, a real relationship with Him. It, again, it has nothing to do with the churchiness. It has nothing to do with you know. I read the Bible in a year you know it has nothing to do with it you know I memorized half the Bible um, you know it has nothing to do with those types of things it's okay it's a pureness it's pure like a pure just pure joy like oh this is just pure like like a mother feels for her child when, when, when she sees her baby you know a mother having her baby and it's just pure just joy it's like Wow, you know, and it's this joy and this love and this amazement and all of these wonderful emotions. Joy is like that. Joy is like that. The joy, and again, I don't know any other source for it. I really don't. You can't buy it. You can't trade it. You can't um, get it outside of God. And this is just one thing that he gives to his children. And 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 the joy affects 
everything because things don't have to even be going well they don't have to even, even be going well for you to be um, alright and, and you're just in a place of wonderment almost it's like just this wonderful thing that he's giving you that just abides with you it has nothing to do with the situations and scenarios um, and conditions of life um, it's just saying you now improves improved situations on the outside of course that makes everything better but it still doesn't even if even if the situations on the outside are not great it doesn't diminish the joy and that's the wonderful thing about it it's like th this joy is untouched by anything it's like if you try to reach out and touch the spirit realm with your hand you can't do it but the spirit realm exists but you can't touch it you can't hold the spirit realm in your hand it's the same thing with joy nothing can touch it it's untouchable and in fact it is in the spirit realm it is from God what a wonderful thing he gives us is joy if you if you don't know God or if you don't have that experience with him yet I'm telling you you don't want to miss it you don't want to miss out on you know there are some things some things it's like you, you don't want to miss it you, you want to experience it like think about caviar right not that I want to try it but I'm just saying caviar and and and, and just the fine those things that seem unattainable untouchable sometimes so climbing a mountain to the top what's up there you know um but joy he'll just give it to you and the experience of just knowing God it can't be replaced I'm telling you there is nothing that can replace it there is nothing that can compare to it there is nothing that can top it I'm telling you if you are a Christian today you don't want to miss it. you you wanna if, if you already have a relationship with God get to know him get I mean just just start just start abiding with him just pray ask him to give you that joy I'm telling you it is beyond description you won't be able to even tell somebody what it's all about they simply have to experience it themselves and the things that it'll do for you wow I can't I can't even express it you know even if just look at thinking about myself and just so many times just the, the joy stepped in and did a different thing something seemed to be going one way but his joy stepped in Ooh, and took it to a whole nother level glory be to God hallelujah see that's what faith is about that's what a lot of people don't understand it's because knowing God has absolutely nothing to do with controllable elements you can't control the things of God has has nothing to do with about what you can do on your own what you can attain on your own how far you can go on your own the connections you have on your own and all of it. when you let go and let God glory be to God hallelujah hold on He's going to do some things. He's going to do some things. And sometimes, you know, it's just sitting there and saying, because sometimes it doesn't look like anything is happening. <laughs> it looks like nothing is happening. And you're like, hmm, what's going on, God? <laughs> but I'm telling you, he's at work. He's at work. You know, he's doing some things. My God, my God. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. 
Some of you know. Some of you know what I'm talking about. Some of you know. But if you don't know and you want to know, it's a simple prayer. Let me give you a scripture though on joy before I even go there. Um, okay, one is, is um, Job 8.21. And it just says, God will, and this is a good one because if you know Job, if you know Job, <laughs> if you know what Job went through, <laughs> and this is in Job, see, what God does has nothing to do with the, the conditions of life. He can bless you right where you are. He'll do a thing because he can do a thing. He can do a thing that no man can touch or change. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Can't and nobody can do anything against God. Get in alignment with his agenda. And he'll do it. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Job 8:21 says, God will will yet fill your mouth with laughter and your lips with shouts of joy. When you get to know God, you will find yourself happy. Yes, joy brings happiness too. You will find yourself happy for no apparent reason. Sometimes just laughing, joyful, in a wonderful mood, uh, dancing. I mean, all of a sudden you don't need a circus to, to entertain you. You've you got something inside. That produces so much wonderfulness. And it's because it's from God. And it's the abiding of His Holy Spirit inside. If you don't know God today and you and you uh, want to know Him and you want to get to know what is this wonderful joy about. Something that is more valuable than money. That you can't purchase you can't get it from somebody else you you can't get it from anywhere but God and you want to know what it's about it's a simple prayer you have to just believe that God is that Jesus is the one and only God son of God yes he is he took our burdens he took our sins on himself and, be, and sin sends you to hell Yes, it does. Sin produces death. Yes, it does. And Jesus died. Yes, he did. And he went to hell. Yes, he did. Not because of anything he did, but because of us. He went to hell because of us. Yes, he did. But he rose. He didn't have any sin th that could hold him there. The sin was ours. He took our sins and he dumped them there. Jesus. Ooh power of Jesus all of the stuff he accomplished and he didn't even fight back he submitted and he overcame death hell and the grave glory be to God hallelujah what power abides in this God that we serve but you'll only get to know it if you build a re relationship with him he's alive today Jesus a real person who walked the earth just like you and I he came back to this earth and walked on this earth he walked on this earth um, before he ascended back to heaven he's still a real person just like he's as much a person he's God fully God and fully man but he's still as much a person as any person that is on this earth Jesus is a real person you want to know a person you talk about people that have connections what kind of connection do you have when you're connected to a person called Jesus? He's not dead. He still lives. And when you're connected to Jesus, you're connected to the one who is the King of Kings and the Lord and Lords. And before him, every knee shall bow, every tongue shall confess that he is the Lord. He is the Lord. He, that means he's the owner. It means other things too. But he's the person 
that we Christians have a connection with. People get connection. They connect it to this one. They connect it to that one. The one that can do this and one that can do that. We connect it to the one that did it all. He's still a person. He's a real person. Just as real as any person that you have connections with. Jesus is still a real person. He walked on this earth just like everyone else. He's a person. He's still a person. And that's who us, we as Christians are connected to. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. If you want to get to know him, it's a simple prayer. You must say it from a sincere heart. And you can repeat after me. Dear God in heaven, I come to you today to answer the call of salvation. I admit that I am a sinner in need of a savior. I admit that I am lost in need of guidance and direction. I come to you today to repent of my sins, which means to turn away from them and go in a different direction. God, please forgive my every sin and come into my heart. Be my personal Lord and Savior. I know that in being my Savior, you save my soul and redeem me from the penalty of sin. I know that in being my Lord, I must learn of you, follow you, and be one with you in covenant. Thank you for saving my soul. Thank you that you are now my Lord and Savior. And I am now born again, a new creation in Christ Jesus. Amen. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Welcome to the family of God, my brother, my sister in Christ. Luke 15, 10 tells us that heaven and the angels rejoice when even one sinner repents. One, one, you. It doesn't have to be 100. It doesn't have to be 1,000. Just you. And there is a born again celebration all of heaven for you right now and I celebrate as well glory be to God hallelujah welcome to the family of God if you don't have a church home that you currently attend or a ministry that you follow along with I welcome you and invite you to follow along with us you can visit my website which is www.sherryhealthministries.org there you will find many resources to help you in your walk uh, with the Lord to help you grow in the Lord um, and also while you're there if this ministry has been a blessing please consider sowing a seed to help us to grow the ministry God has wonderful things uh, that he can do you know um, glory be to God hallelujah consider sowing a seed to help us to grow the ministry and to continue to advance the word of God um, and also join us for our weekly broadcast, which airs on Preach the Word Worldwide Network. It's called So Says the Lord. Again, So Says the Lord. Um, it airs weekly on Preach the Word Worldwide Network at 11.30 a.m. Eastern Time on Fridays. Also join us for our blog talk. We have Midweek Inspiration. Um, and the links are here. So you can, um, and if you go to my website, you can, you can access all of this information. So the blog talk episodes are there for what, uh, midweek inspiration, and it would just help you during the mid middle of the week. You know, you just need to pick me up. It's very short, only about maybe 10, 15 minutes, but it's just a pick up to inspire you, encourage you, and anchor you in the Word of God. And um, then we have the Bible teaching and the Bible study. So on the broadcast, that's the Bible teaching, but our series have two separate components to it the Bible teaching and the Bible study component and um, so you'll get the Bible teaching on the show so says the Lord but also here because the videos are uploaded and so you can watch it here as well and during the video uh, for the Bible teaching I always give a scripture for the Bible study so if you're going to join for the Bible study also you would read that scripture and read it seriously pray about it pray about it to get your mind right Read the scripture, ponder it, Selah, Selah, think about it. God, what does what, what this mean, God? How can I apply this to my life, God? How can the scripture help me to grow as a person, Lord? Can you give me revelation about this scripture? And sometimes he'll even give you other directions to help you to learn more, you know, on your own. So that's the time where you, you stretch and you grow. Uh, during that time, read the scripture. And, um... After you read the scripture, then watch the Bible study video, and um, and um, and then after the Bible study video, you want to talk about it with somebody. 
you want to talk about it and, and think about it. Um, and if you don't have anybody, like if you don't, you can watch it in the group so that you, you can, as a group, fellowship and talk about it. Have your Bible study around it. Um, but if you have no one, you can also just dialogue with me. Um, on my website, there is a um, forum. Well, there there's a um, blog section, too. You can start just adding stuff there, and I'll respond to you. When I see it, I'll, I'll respond to you. And, um, you know, uh, keep it Christian. Um, because, you know, uh, this is not about negativity. negativity. This is to benefit, to bless, and to help. And, um, you know, I'm not someone who's saying I have all answers to everything. I don't. Um, I'm seeking God every day, just like, just like everybody else that is. And so, you know, but it's a positive dialogue to help one another grow. And so there, and then I have the book. So this book will help your faith to grow. If you, if you are someone that needs to get grounded in your faith, I'm going to have a promotion. I plan to have a promotion soon also for this book to offer it for a reduced price. Uh, so I think I'm going to do that shortly. So, um, you know, but you can, these books, you can, you can get my books also. The links are on my website. Just go to the website and look around. Um, and, you know, and that's, that's it. And so I hope that this has blessed you. And um, just, just get to know God because what he'll do for you is different than what he'll do for me. You know, um. God gives me these little phrases from time to time. He'll just drop it in my spirit. And one of the phrases is that he's tailored to suit your soul. He is tailored to suit your soul. He'll be truly your personal Lord and Savior. So the things that you need are different from the things that I need or someone else needs. He'll be what you need. He'll be tailored for you. Yes, he will. And I pray that um, the Lord will bless you, keep you, make his face shine upon you, lift up his countenance upon you, be gracious to you give you peace. Until the next time, be blessed and walk with God.